Okay, because I work in Venice, I have to choose a Venetian building. And for me, it would have to be San Giorgio Maggiore because it is a church of absolute perfection, in my view. Uh, it's his first church, and this is what's so incredible. It's a complete masterpiece. Um, he's almost 60 years old when he begins it, 1565. And he manages to organize an enormous space, a very complex space with absolute lucidity and grace. The whole church is lit evenly with a wonderfully serene uh, and, and very spiritual light. Uh, it's very grand, but it's also approachable by the spectator because it has this huge giant order up on uh, high plinths, which supports the enormous vault and then there's another order which is the scale of the human being uh, which supports the side aisles and the smaller arches so the the, the visitor can both relate to this uh, imposing grand interior like being inside a roman bath and feel completely at home and relaxed and serene it's the sort of space where when you go in you begin to breathe differently uh, you, you feel that you, you're entering a space that is sacred, you, 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 you become calm and you breathe deep down in your lungs and you can look at this uh, extraordinarily monumental but also uh, very moving uh, and, and beautiful architecture. Um, it's, it, I think, the perfect example of the, the, the idea of um, visual harmony which uh, Palladio tells us in his treatise that he, he, he was uh, trying to achieve in sacred buildings. And uh, he, it, the building took a long time. Uh, it was a very complicated project. Um, in fact, it wasn't finished, of course, before he died and the facade is later. But um, it, it, uh, it was his first chance to design a complete church in Venice. It has a very prominent situation right opposite the Piazza San Marco, but it's also because it faces west, it's also visible from the Giudecca Canal, from the Salute, from other parts of Venice. And uh, it, I, th I think it's a masterpiece. <laughs>